Good wishes, dear children. How are you all? I hope you all are well and good at your places and enjoying your learning sessions with Meena Meetkar, your mathematics teacher. So, my dear children, uh, you all seem very happy. So, you know that today I have bought some surprise gift for the best students. Are you ready? Okay, so what's the surprise? Yes, I have bought flower stickers for my flower like students. So, are you ready? Let me name the first one who's gonna get my gift. So, the first sticker as a prize goes to whom? Let me write his name on this whiteboard. Monday. He is my favorite student. Why? Because he has won the race in the race competition. So, this award as a sticker is being given to Monday. Now guess, who's going to get the next sticker? It's your time to guess. So, the second flag goes to, yes, your friend Tuesday. Do you know why? Yes, he's the best singer in your class. So, this award goes to Tuesday. Now is the time to guess who wins the award for the best handwriting thing. Yes, all these are friends. So, who is the next friend whom I'm talking about? Correct, it is Wednesday. So, let's give this award and write the name Wednesday here. Clapping for Wednesday also. And the next title goes to? Yes, Thursday. Do you know why? Yes, he won the swimming competition. So, the next title goes to Thursday. I'm very happy with all these children. And the next title goes to the best dancer. Can you guess the name? Correct, Friday. Friday got this title. So, who all is going to clap for Friday now? Let's all clap together. Well done, Friday. And do you remember we had a reading competition last week? So, who won the game? Yes, Saturday. So, this title goes to Saturday, of course. Let's write the name here. Saturday. So let's give them a round of applause together. Congratulations to all these title winners. Let's name them again and honor them together. Monday. I'm very happy for you. Tuesday. Well done, Tuesday. Wednesday. I'm so happy and proud. Thursday. I'm very proud of you, my dear. Friday, well done, my dear. And Saturday, very, very happy. Very, very happy for you. I'm happy for all of you, even all these participants and you as well. So, my dear children, best of luck for next competitions. Look, 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 what's this? Hey, a train and it's so happy. Where's it going? Let's ask it. Dear train, where are you going? I'm going to have some fun. Oh, it's going to have some fun. Is it a fun day for you? Yay! Oh, it's a fun day for the train. Let's ask why. Because it's Sunday. Oh, Sunday is fun day. So that is why the train is so happy. It's going to enjoy Sunday.
Yeah, my dear children, Sunday is fun day for me also. Is it for you also? Yes, Sunday is fun day. What do you all do on Sundays? Okay, so you play, you enjoy with your family, you enjoy with your friends, you go to your relatives. Okay, so my dear children, one day, Monday went to Tuesday to see Wednesday. So Wednesday was already there and asked Thursday to tell Friday and also Saturday that Sunday is Monday. This was a lovely story. Let's sing together. One day Monday went to Tuesday. La 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 to see. Wednesday and ask Thursday la 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 to tell Friday and also Saturday la 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 what that Sunday is fun day, Sunday is fun day, Sunday is fun day, that Sunday is fun day, la 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 So dear children, is Sunday a fun day for you? Yay, Sunday is actually a fun day. We enjoy a lot on this day. Why? Because the whole family has a holiday and we all get together and have a lot of fun with our families and friends. Yay! We play games and this is the best day of the week. Yes! I agree. Do you? Yay! Okay dear children. Monday is happy to be the first day of the week. Hmm, now you have to tell the third day of the week to me. So, the third day of the week is, fill in this blank. Correct! Wednesday! Wednesday is the third day of the week. Very well done. Okay, dear children. Hmm, now let me ask you the fifth day of the week. So, what's the fifth day of the week? Hmm, count, count, count. Yes, yes, you are right. Friday. Friday is the fifth day of the week. Well done again. Now, hmm, okay, hurry up, tell me. The second day of the week is correct. Tuesday. Well done again. Okay, so what's the last day of the week? Yes, Sunday of course. Sunday is the last day of the week and we enjoy a lot on Sunday. So dear children, which day will come after Sunday? Of course, Monday. Well said. And which day will come before Sunday? Correct, Saturday. And which day will come after Wednesday? Correct, Thursday. Wow, you're giving me spontaneous answers. I'm really happy, my dear children. So, another question comes your way. Which day will come before Wednesday? Correct, Tuesday. Which day do you like the most? Sunday. Okay, good. Why? Yes, it is fun day. So that's why we like it. Hey children, some of your classmates of class 2 love to play teacher teacher. Do you like to play this? Oh wow, even I used to play it when I was young like you. So dear children, all these friends have decided to take turns in playing teacher's role. So. Let's look how they have planned it. 
in this column they have written days and here the one who is going to play the teacher's role so the names of the friends who are going to play the teacher's role on these is written here so let's see on monday who is going to play the teacher's role vaibhav okay good so vaibhav is ready to play the teacher's role on monday and on the next day who is going to play the teacher's role alpana very good and what is the day next to monday yes tuesday so this means on tuesday alpana will play the teacher's role okay so which day comes next yes wednesday okay and who is going to play the teacher's role on wednesday oh gorav yes gorav is going to play the teacher's role on wednesday okay who is going to play the teacher's role on the next day gurpreet so look here on the chart on which day is gurpreet going to play the teacher's role yes on thursday and what day comes next friday well guessed good so on friday who is going to play the teacher's role deepak oh nice good okay dear children which day comes next saturday correct so who is going to play the teacher's role on saturday rehnuma very good best of luck dear friends now my dear children based on this data you have to fill in the blanks so let's have a look on the data again day monday and the person who is going to play the teacher's role is vaibhav on tuesday alpana on wednesday gorav on thursday gurpreet on friday deepak and on saturday rehnuma so now is the time to fill in the blanks dash will be the teacher the day after friday hmm correct rehnuma because day after friday is saturday and on saturday rehnuma is going to play the teacher's role therefore what are we going to write here rehnuma well done my dear children now look here dash will play the teacher's role on the day before tuesday correct vaibhav because the day before tuesday is monday and monday is vaibhav's turn to play the teacher's role so vaibhav will play the teacher's role on the day before tuesday well done dear children so tell me now gorav will play the teacher's role on the day after hmm tell me tell me tell me which day yes tuesday as we can see here gorav's turn is on wednesday so the day before wednesday is tuesday so gorav will play the teacher's role on the day after tuesday Okay dear children now tell Deepak will play the teacher's role on the day before correct saturday Deepak will play the teacher's role on the day before saturday because he is playing the teacher's role on friday and friday is the day before saturday okay dear children now look since they are playing teacher teacher they have made this time table So this is the timetable they have made here they have written the days names and here are the number of periods 1 to 6 so six working days are shown here in the timetable from monday to saturday let's see monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and now you see the periods have been divided like this the first period every day would be hindi second maths third on monday would be games on tuesday drawing 
again on alternatively wednesday will be games and so thursday would be drawing friday would be games and saturday would be drawing then fourth period would be english every day and fifth would be evs every day and sixth would be on monday music period on tuesday library period wednesday again library period thursday music period and friday also music period and then on saturday finally library period again wow we have read this wonderful timetable it's really interesting a lot of lot of activities are there now look here periods so which period are we talking about first drawing then music then we are going to talk about games and then library so on which days are these periods going to take place according to the timetable that these children made so the answer is let's talk about drawing first what are you going to write look at the drawing period yes it's on tuesday thursday and saturday as we already noticed on alternate days now let's talk about music period yes monday thursday and friday very well done games period monday wednesday friday good and library period yes tuesday wednesday and saturday so dear children i am feeling hungry now i have been talking so long so i am feeling hungry and what do you do when you feel hungry between the meals oh you eat fruits okay what fruit do you like aha uh-huh. okay so you like custard apple when does this fruit come in which month september well done okay and what about your favorite vegetable which vegetable do you like french beans oh good so in which month it comes hmm november okay good and what about your favorite flowers can you name any of your favorite flowers lilies oh nice so which months these lilies are seen yes july well done my dear children hey children i love flowers you know what in festive season i decorate my house and surroundings with flowers so name the festivals that you and your friends celebrate together hmm you can also tell me the months okay diwali so in which month it comes october or november and any other festival okay raksha bandhan you celebrate raksha bandhan and in which month august you celebrate holi in march and uh, dashera in october christmas in december well done dear children names of some of the months are missing in the list given below fill in names of those months look here january february so which month comes yes march let's fill in march here next is written april what next may very right let's write may here okay what do you see now june okay what comes next july so let's write july here what comes next august okay then september october what next november very well done and finally yes december let's repeat 
January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So, which is the first month of the year? Yes, January. Which month comes after March? April. Which month comes before August? July. Which is the last month of the year? December. Okay, dear children. La, 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 la. Four months have 30 days. La, 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 la. Seven months have 31. La, 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 la. February is the shortest month. La, 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 la. In some years it jumps for fun. Four months have 30 days. Seven months have 31. February is the shortest month. In some years it jumps for fun. In some years it jumps for fun. Months have 31 days. Short months have 30 days. Look at the calendar to find out which months have 30 days. Yes, April, June, September and November have 30 days. How many months have 31 days? Yes, 7 months have 31 days. How many days are there in February? Yes, 28 or 29 days are there in February. Okay, so how many days together are there in May and June? Yes, 61 days are there in total in May and June. How many Sundays are there in July? Four or five Sundays are there in July. Okay, dear children. How many days do you get for your summer holidays? 60. Okay. How many winter holidays do you have? 20 days. Very good. So, have you ever felt your teeth chattering due to cold? Yes. Your feet feel hot on walking barefoot? Yes. Which are the hottest months in your area? April and May. Which are the coldest months in your area? Yes, November and December. Which fruits and vegetables are seen a lot in the market in these months? Write or draw. So you have to write the name as well as you have to draw. Yes, in my June, fruits, muskmelon, jackfruit, kiwi, mangoes, and vegetables. Hmm, brinjal, cucumber, bitter gourd, beans. Okay, let's talk of December to January. Fruits, strawberries, guava, custard apple, orange. And let's talk of vegetables in these months. Radish, broccoli, beetroot, spinach. Nice. My dear children, it's time to say bye-bye for now because I have to make my schedule of the week as well as of the month what all I'm going to do this week and this month. So, why don't you also think and plan your week and your month? Hmm, you can think like this. On the first Sunday, I'm going to a park and on second Sunday, I'm going with my family to my Masi's or my Chachi's house, something like that. So just plan your weekends. You can plan. Um, I'm going to have a lot of salad uh, this Monday and then I'm going to have some fun with the junk food as well. So you can plan like on which day you are going to trim your nails, on which day you are going to see a doctor for a routine checkup, all this. So just start planning. I hope you have enjoyed this wonderful learning sessions with me, Navneet Kaur, your mathematics teacher. 
and with a promise to see you soon, I'll be back again. Till then, stay tuned. Bye-bye.